Goddesses, Goddesses that you are watching, and I am your host, Nancy Goddess, and we have Adrian talking to us, Adrian Starr, and we also have Artis Williams. There we go. And Matilda. <laughs> She is the person who can predict and tell you, well, actually not, not predict, not but, predict, but, but um, work on dreams. Work on dreams, and dream you're work. a healer, and she has her own show, and Mr. Williams is a journalist. Maybe we could write a book together. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to let everybody know this is Goddesses, and uh, in case they were turning the channel, uh, we're talking about um, different things. We're talking with Adrian Starr, also known as Wild Diva. And it's been so much, so much fun. So many years, so many people that we've met through the size movement. It's been wonderful. We spoke about Bill Fabre, who is the founder of NAFA. And they're going to have a big anniversary party, so look that up. You don't want to miss out on that, Adrian, if you, if you could make it. But you can look it up, N-A-A-F-A. -A. So okay. So, and, and so now we can carry on with your dream. Okay, wonderful. Go so, ahead, your So dream. you were having a dream last night, Adrian, and you started relating the dream. So, but you, we didn't get to it fully. So continue. I'm listening. Okay, well, I was at, like, this big event. I had a very like long sparkly gown on. I was sitting at a table. It was kind of like a dinner, you know, the round table. And I'm sitting there with some other people talking, eating. And next thing I know, Jesse Smollett comes and sits next to me. <laughs> and we just start talking and we like hit it off. Like I've known this person for years. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, like you're just, I kept thinking to myself, like, this is Jesse Smollett. Like, this is weird. And it, it gets, it gets deeper. <laughs> wow. I could imagine much deeper. <laughs> wow. So that means you can't give us the juice over here, but you can always yes. contact her privately and talk to her. How okay. You, I might have to do that. <laughs> well, how, tell Adrian, her how to contact you. Well... Okay, so well, I can, can always email be me. contacted on my, I'm very active on Instagram and Twitter, right. at Ms. Wild Diva. Mm -hmm. um, also, my email is wilddiva99 at yahoo.com. Okay, and if you'll remember, you, uh, my email, oh. tilde vision ideas at gmail.com. Tilde, T-I-L-D-E, vision, uh -huh. tilde vision ideas at gmail.com. How did, okay. you how did you feel when you woke up from the dream? I felt <laughs> happy and shocked at the same time because it was, <laughs> it was one of those dreams that seemed very real. Very real, yes. Happy and oh, happy, happy and shocked. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, All right, girl. That was a oh, tough Nancy. dream you had. <laughs> Definitely. What, what does this person that you dreamed about, what does that person mean to you? Or what? Nothing. Uh, he's. A, I don't even know him. <laughs> but in the so dream, you were dreaming the about dream. him. In the dream. <laughs> well, like a, in the dream, what does he mean to me? Yes. Well, we ended up cuddling and getting very close. Ooh. <laughs> Do you remember the people at the table? Do you remember oh, who they were? <laughs> the people at the, the table. table. Do you remember who they were? No. No. Mm -hmm. No. So they, it was just background. Yeah, there was people, but I don't remember any of their faces or who do they you, were. Do you remember the conversation? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. But do you remember the, the good parts about it? <laughs> no. But that was an interesting dream. What does mm -hmm. that mean, and Matilda? She just had it last night. Well, there's not enough. I know. She needs to give you more details. <laughs> well, you'll have to get in touch with uh, Matilda uh, to right. get the rest of the... You uh, have my email, Adrian, so we can talk about it yes, definitely. off the air. Uh -huh. And if not, if you forget it, uh, you can always call me. We'll talk tonight when I get home. Okay. And you look absolutely pretty, as yeah, always. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Very. Do you have any oh, more thank questions? You guys. No. Thank you. 
You so, guys look great yourself. And I loved you. about when he was talking about his son, the alphabet. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. great, isn't it? I mean, that's he's so creative. Well, you know, he's a journalist, this here gentleman here. Gentleman. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, and he's definitely a gentleman, <laughs> for sure. I was just kidding around when I went, oh, I brought this to cool him down because he's between two women. Yeah. But now there's three of us here. Yeah. So he really needs three. to be cooled down. Yeah. I might need a little bit more firepower. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy's outnumbered. <laughs> but it's really fun talking to you. Yes, definitely. It's always a pleasure being on yeah. the show, Nancy. Thank you so much. So I think Joey said somebody was sending messages. Joey, what messages do we have out there? Michael Anthony Castellan said, hi. How are you, Nancy? Hi, Michael. Send you my love. Big hugs and kisses to you, too. Becky Gomez says, I want the party. I want the party? Becky Gomez, she wants the party. Well, listen, if you want a party, come down May 11th at 274 4th Avenue. Kimberly Clark said hi. Hi, Kimberly. Steve Berger. Hi, hi, Steve Berger. Joey should just come out here and Raven say all the names. Hi. <laughs> Raven. Hi, Raven. I love you. Yeah. Come yeah. celebrate Mother's Day, May 11th in Brooklyn. And Paul Vincent said another message. Glad to see you guys again. Oh, uh, Paul, we want to see you again here. I've been trying to get in touch with you. David and Jenkins said hi. Um, somebody Jenkins. else said hi? David Jenkins. Jenkins. David oh, Jenkins. hi, David Jenkins. I hope I see you soon, too. So I don't know how, who's coming to the party on May 11th, but I hope to see everybody. And we are planning to have brunches. Some guy said, hello, Matilda. Hello, Matilda. She's I so gotcha. beautiful. He said he likes you in that jumpsuit. <laughs> yes, he does. You know, Matilda gets a lot of attention. Deserve. Matilda, you, you just put on that jacket because you didn't want <laughs> your girls to be shown. So you have a jacket on. But it's a little chilly in here. So he has his... Adrian Starr is still on the phone. Adrian Starr, I know. She's such a cute little doll. So Adrian, you're wonderful. I want to thank you so much. So maybe you could call back in another few minutes. <coughs> We'll get okay, you back well, on. thank you for having me. I just yeah, wanted to mention, you know, my YouTube channel again. I am on there a lot. I I do plus size try-ons, and I talk about all kinds of different stuff on there. It's really a good time. So oh, great. I hope everybody can check it out. Thank you so much. She'll thank come. You. She'll call in again. We just want to know if anybody wants to call in and ask questions. You can mm -hmm. give the number, and the number will be on the screen. But if you don't know the number, it's seven one eight. Four six zero nine four three four. You can call in and ask any questions. If you have any dreams, Matilda will help you out with a dream. And uh, Mr. Williams, well, you're a journalist, but he's also an expert in being an F.A. You know, there's not too many men out there that know what an F.A. is. Do you know what an F.A. So, is? So, what? Uh oh. So explain it. An F.A. An F.A. is a fat admirer. Back in the days, we. That's what they were called, an F.A., and people would look like 20, 30-year-olds and go, Nance, what's an F.A.? I said, a fat admirer. <laughs> we're from back in the days when we all started this a while ago, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right, because you, a lot of people, a lot of males were secretly in they, that category. Yes, they were secret. did not want to publicly acknowledge it, uh, and, uh, but there are many that were kind of hidden out and would come to your parties. They would just come to even the NAFA events. Right. And, and, but, but they didn't want to publicly but I don't, acknowledge I didn't, you know, they, But they're in public already. They're inside a lounge or wherever the place was. But I think they bought into the, the conventional uh, uh, culture that suggested that uh, there's something wrong with somebody because they're they're fat, and so that publicly, they would say the same line, mouth the same lines that you got from the culture in general, but they actually didn't believe that. In the beginning, when this started, for me, they would tell people outside, even newspapers, when I would want to put an ad and say, okay, there's a get together, it's big, beautiful women and men who love them. And then I thought about the big guys later on and said, well, big, beautiful people or big, beautiful men. 
and you know they're friends and everybody who loves them so it's size acceptance now you cannot just have an event and say oh you can't come in because you're skinny right. the girls would always get upset mm -hmm. and they said no everyone's welcome mm -hmm. now it's an open party for everyone mm -hmm. because you want to be accepted as a big person right. so we have to accept everyone mm -hmm. and love everyone so back in the day the men I would say they were in the closet yeah Right. Absolutely. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Were you ever in the closet about liking a big girl? No, I was never embarrassed by that. I was never embarrassed by dating fat women because I grew up in a culture that was more accepting of that than the general culture. The, the black culture was more okay with that. Uh, than the, than the country as a whole. I see. And a lot of the people that I grew up with, uh, the, their wives and girlfriends were, were heavy people, full-figured people and all that. So it was not as much. In your culture, mission. you're right. It's more accepting. Yeah. But you know, all those magazines with thin twigs and it's, but now we could thank, you know, a lot of people out there and right. we, number one, we could thank Bill Fabre mm -hmm. for starting it. And we also have Kathleen Schuler out there, which is great. Thank you, Kathleen Schuler, for all that you do for, with FIT. She has wonderful fashion shows. She's a great person. Mm -hmm. well, many, many years back, many different people were ostracized for different reasons. Nowadays, we call the little people, we call them little people. Right, that's and, true. And, years and what ago, did they call them before? Midgets. Midgets, right. Did, did that so, sound nice? I don't know. No, it's not. It didn't sound right. So, so m many, many years ago, the black people were not accepted. Latin people were really not ex right. Hispanics. So now it's more people have learned to be flexible mm -hmm. and to accept. Um, they're not so judgmental, but inside, inwardly, they probably still have you know, stereotypes. There, there are, they're still around. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can't change certain people. But no. we are who we are, and we have to love ourselves for who we are. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people out there, if they have any suggestions, please let me know. There is a heavy-duty topic that I, I really want to work on. Which is? And I can't do it right now in five minutes, and I'm not going to forget Joe, because he wants to know how can he be accepted. Be Joe? At Facebook. And it's on my email, I mean, not on my email, and he had asked me, because he says, what about topics? You know, because I wrote, anybody have any special topics? And he says, how can I be accepted? How can I be accepted? So that's something that I have to work on with him, because he's positive on who he is. Mm -hmm. But he's in a position now. People are not accept. He, he's not accepted. People are not accepting him. And I would have to talk to him on how and all that because he has now with the accident that he had a speech problem. Mm -hmm. He's working out, he's getting better, he's on Facebook, hello Joe. I don't want to mention his last name, he knows who he is. He even met, left a comment. That was one of the topics. So, I mean, do you feel I don't, free? I don't know if you want to call it handicapped, but if you have an accident, if you're in perfect health and you're in good shape and you're with an athletic person and then something happens, you're still that person, so you have to still love yourself. Mm -hmm. So he has to learn how can he accept himself now, and because people are not accepting so, so him. So he's physically challenged. Is that the topic? No, not at all. Not at all. Trust me, there's so many topics out there. So it's a very important topic. Mm -hmm. It's somebody that's many trying bullies to, out to, there. to try to walk again. Mm -hmm. um, lost the balance. It's a whole big thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole different show. We would have to have, mm -hmm. you know, uh, physical therapy experts and doctors here, and because it's a whole big thing that he's going through. Mm -hmm. And and he's on Facebook and he's probably listening right now. So, and in his speech, it affected his speech. The accident he had. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, because of the culture and the the ostracizing of the culture. Many people go through so many different operations to make themselves beautiful. Right, and I'm trying and, to look and for exactly what he wrote because you know, they'll, it's, they'll it's very their sad noses, that people mm -hmm. treat their lips, their eyes, yeah. their mm -hmm. neck, everything. Things because happen, and, and, and it affects you. If you have an accident and you can't walk, 
What does that mean? They don't want you no more because you can't do what you did before. They just throw you away. So he, he wants to know how can he accept himself. Hello, hello. Uh, goddesses, I Hi. love you. Hi. Um, listen, honey. Um, I want to say something to you. Um, don't miss this. Good luck to your show. I mean, you know to say that I hope that someone's successful on the show. And, and, and good God bless you. The heavens bless you out. The strong feelings of love. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, okay, my name is Ferdinand. Special name in Ferdinand, England. Nice to meet you. I hope something improves in the Give Your Advantage on the show of socialization and emotional successful talks of work. Thank you. And where are you okay, from? Okay, sugar. Goodbye now, honey. Thank you. Good night. Good night. You know, the, the shows itself, we used to have lots of big, big fashion shows over here, which everybody knows we did. Mm -hmm. So sometimes things happen and you can't do it, but you want to do it. Mm -hmm. So as a family, you have to love each other and stay together and help each other. Just like if you see somebody that can't walk across the street, someone will come and help that person. You know, mm -hmm. there is a lot of love out there, but then again, there isn't. No, there's a lot of bullying. Yes. And they, so they'll bully you on whatever they want. help each other. It's very important. They bully you on yeah. politics, on religion, anything and everything. I mean, because the bully just wants to bully. Exactly. We want to have fun shows. We want to have lingerie. We want to have strippers. We want to have, you know, all different types of shows. You have Roger on the phone. Hello, Roger. Hello, Nancy. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, Roger. Thank you. Hugs and kisses to you. Thank you, doll. Listen, I want to ask Matilda a question. I get dreams every night. Go ahead, Matilda. Every night I dream of crazy dreams. Every night. I don't know why, but it's crazy. I dream <laughs> of nutty things. I don't know why. Every night. Can you explain why? Well, you're not being very descriptive, Roger. Well, I'll give you the descriptions. Sometimes I dream of me driving around. I going nowhere. <laughs> I don't understand my dreams. <laughs> what, what do you think it could be? <laughs> well, how do you feel when you're driving around going nowhere? I feel great. You, you enjoy driving? In, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. What does truck See, I just retired. I used to drive a truck for 22 years. Really? And I noticed since I retired, I dream a lot. <laughs> you, you also, you're dreaming. Oh, so he's dreaming. About his work. Ah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, he misses his, his work. That, you think that's what it is? No, no, it isn't that you're missing the work, per se, but you're missing the pleasure of driving, of being outdoors. Because we usually oh, drive outdoors. okay, that's what it is. So, and then I get other dreams. I get crazy other dreams of, of things. But I think that's that's the main thing. I just want to ask Nancy a question. When <laughs> are we going to have a lingerie party? When you come down and wear one for me, and then the girls will come and walk around with you. That's it, because me and Ralphie want to come to the lingerie party. Well, come to the party on May 11, the day before Mother's Day. Okay. That sounds In Brooklyn. Great. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. I got the address. All right, love. All right. Nice love you, Roger. You. Thank you and for the God birthday bless wishes. You. Stay well. All right. And if you need any more questions, you can get in touch with Matilda. We'll give you her number. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Matilda. God bless you, darling. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, we have another phone caller. Paul. Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi. How are Long you doing? No see you, Nancy. Yes, I know. You've been trying to call me and... I've been swamped, and I was going to get back to you, like, tomorrow or the next day. It's been a little bit, uh, life is going so fast, and we need to yeah. slow down and try to appreciate each other, you know, and be family and friends. It's just, you know, the way things are. Everything is fast now. Uh -huh. But I thank you for calling me and always asking how I am. You're a very wonderful person, and I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And two of your friends wanted to know how you were, uh, Gloria and uh, Elena. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I speak to them once in a while, and uh, I thank you. They're two beautiful girls. No, mm -hmm. Yes, and, they are. And you're a wonderful guy. I hope I see you May 11th. We're having a little get-together in Brooklyn. And um, mm -hmm. it's going to be nice. It's a nice get-together the day before Mother's Day. Figure figured we'll do something local. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. We'll be doing some brunches. 
Well, that sounds very good. Right, so May uh, 11th. Where, where at, exactly in Brooklyn? Uh, 274 4th Avenue at the Colony. Co oh, uh, yeah. Colony 274. Been there. Yeah. Where, you've been there when Joey had it there before. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll, we'll see you there on the 11th. Big hugs and kisses. And my Facebook was out of order, so I couldn't, everybody was messaging me. It was not working. So uh, and sure. if anybody uh -huh. is befriending, and if anybody's listening and they're on Facebook, someone uh -huh. keeps befriending all my friends. It's not me. You need to check out if it is me. Right. So somebody made a copy of my profile. Really? Oh, my. Mm. Really? I don't know why. How does that work, Nancy? I have no idea how it works, but they did. Yeah. So they're befriending, and, and I'm getting, me, uh, they're befriending all my friends. Somebody, so. one of the employees from Blackers was asking me how you were. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Tell them I miss them. I send them uh -huh. all my love. And hopefully, maybe I'll see them again one yeah. day. Uh, yeah, I sorry I couldn't make it out to Jersey. And, uh, I understand. And what happened That's last no week, problem. there was two parties going on in Manhattan at the same spot. I know. It happens. But thank you, Paul. I love you. We'll talk to you later. Big hugs. Okay. Thank you for calling. Right. So He's from Brooklyn. Yeah. So can you straighten that out, Nancy? He's from the Bronx. Oh, from the Bronx. I'm sorry. Can, so do we have another phone call? No. Okay. Somebody, um, Don, Dawn Coulter said hi from Chicago. Hi, Dawn, from Chicago. <laughs> well, can you straighten that out on the air about uh, someone um, taking your profile? Uh, well, I was, uh, well, I'm, I'm talking it to, to a lot of people. it happens to a lot of people, Joey says, but the thing is that people were inboxing me, that's messaging me, and saying, Nancy, did you befriend me? He said, we, we know it's not you because you're my friend already. So someone took my whole profile and they changed, they took the email, everything. What is the purpose, Joey? We don't know what the purpose is, but they just, I don't know, they're, they're befriending my friends. I'm sorry, Joey. Fraud. Oh, it's just fraud. But I don't, I don't do anything on there. Um, That's terrible. Anything financially. I just talk to people and go on sites and talk to different men and women. And I basically go on sites that involve the, the large size community, the plus size community, because that's what I like to look at. You know, what's going on. I like to look at all the fashions and things like that. Gee, that's terrible. I go on too many sites. So can I ask you, now are they what they call unfriending the people that are on your list? Or They're not unfriending. What they did was they took my profile, they took my password, and they're befriending them again. Yeah. And I don't mm -hmm. know if they're using a different name. Or maybe they are using my name okay. with a different password. They're using my name. They created another account. They created another account. So just to let everybody know on Facebook, you only have one. this is what's going on. So that's why you don't hear from me too much online, because I, I wasn't able to get in and out. I was locked out of my own. Right. I, 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 right. I couldn't even get messenger. Now I could go on a little bit, but I'm still missing more stuff. Did they take the name goddess? Goddesses? There are lots of people who are using that name too, but they just changed the password and I've seen it. So why they did it, I don't know. Maybe because I'm so from way back well known, you know. Mm. And the young girls, of course, 25, they weren't even born when we started the group. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know who did it. But somebody told me that I can get in touch with AOL and Gmail and they could do an investigation about it and really get into it. They have like some kind of, but I didn't do that yet, but I really should. Wow. Yeah. So you know what? Wow. I don't know what the purpose was, why they stole the, uh, my everything. I the password, imagine that, mm -hmm. and, and, and all my emails. <laughs> and one of them was just, Appointments, mm -hmm. doctors, and mm -hmm. God knows how many pitches they got out of my 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 system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if anybody sees anybody friending them, please ask me first. And if you can't get in touch with me, there's always a number that you can get in touch with. Uh, there's Joey Goddess, and then there's another line that you can reach me on. So I hope to see everybody in May 11, and even before that. And like Matilda says. April shower brings May flowers, mm -hmm. yes. right, Matilda? Oh, yes. 
<laughs> yes, that's nature <laughs> and, I know, and the cycle. I know. Uh -huh. And you know, I miss my dear friend. Uh, his birthday was um, on the 15th of March, and uh, he, he did a, oh, a CD. They study your friends list. No, they study your friends list. And they hit up those people for money. Oh, that's what they, they do. They but they I don't do have it. any money. Mm -hmm. No, they hit up your friends that, that they think you're asking for money for help. Mm. Wait a minute. They think that I'm asking money. Oh, they're making believe it's me, and they're asking for money. Right. That's what they do with most people. They'll ask people. Well, for please money. get back to me, and 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 it's not me doing it. No, that's what she said that they do. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of men and women doing this online. Mm -hmm. They're talking to women, they're talking to men, and they're trying to get money. But that's not what this show is about, but this is what happened to me, and people want to know why I don't get back mm -hmm. to them, because I've been trying to fix it, and I could barely, I really don't even know how. Mm -hmm. I would have to get Joey to help me, and now I can't, I lost my email, my other email, too. It's, it's sad. Nancy, there, um, I, I, you were speaking as uh, Ruben just said two minutes. I'm just letting you know. We have two minutes, and if there's any callers out there that have any more questions for Mr. Williams and, and also about that, that new the ABC. Sun. Oh, wow. It's, it's, it's tremendous. What's, What's the, the name, name again? Of that song again? The Funky Alphabet. The Funky, funky alphabet. alphabet. So if you have any children, go online on YouTube and look for the Funky Alphabet. Yeah, I'd love I, to I'm going to go myself. Right. Yes. I don't have any small every babies anymore. Because is uh, highlighted with something that starts with that same letter. I have to look it up, the funky alphabet. I'm going to forget it, but I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, look it up. I, my grandchild is eight now. Mm -hmm. He's not, you know, going to look at it. Oh, he would like it too. Oh, he will, because yeah. it's funky. It's, it's, it's dynamic. Oh, it has great. has a lot of movement. I wish I had that here, but I can't wait. But please, One everybody, minute. I love you all out there. And I want to thank you. And we are looking for models to come on the show. Uh, anybody that has anything to talk hello, about? Hello, is Nancy? Yes, hi. I, I want I want to say hello. Oh my goodness, it's Lewis. How are you? Lewis. Well, listen, we're gonna miss you. I wish you were here yeah. with Marianne. I'm really good. Uh, I want to say hello. I want to uh, give congratulations for your program tonight. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps maybe one day you, you, you can come in. I want to thank you for calling in. I send my love to Marion and you. We're going to miss yes. you. I know that we're you're going to miss you because in the other week uh, we're going to live in Delaware. Bye. I know. Uh, I want to thank you for calling. And I know you're moving to Delaware, but I will see you. And I will see you out. before you leave. Thank you so much. We're out.